kids, it's Chelsea here. I'm sad I can't see you guys in person and all your beautiful faces, but I am super excited about something that I get to do today and that's read you guys a book. So I'm just gonna get started with that here. So the one I've got is called Bob the Dog. It's a little bit of a silly one, but I'm excited to read it to you guys. So first off, I apologize if I say these names wrong, but it's written by Rodrigo Valguera and illustrated by Polly Bernetti. All right. So Mark and Bob the dog were playing in the park one day. They were running and laughing so hard that they didn't see the gulp. Tiny little yellow bird. Bob began to sob. Oh, I've eaten him, he cried. I've eaten the tiny, innocent little birdie wordie. Mark tried to comfort him, but Bob didn't eat birds. He sobbed and wailed and howled. Then, Bob's tummy made a strange noise. Tweet! He's alive, Bob, cried Mark. And then a little voice spoke. My name is Jeremy, Jeremy the Canary, and I'm hiding in here. And he wouldn't say another word. Oh dear, said Mark, I think we'd better get some help. Bob and Matt, Mark gathered all their friends. Roger the rabbit, Kathy the cat, and of course, Oscar the owl. First, Kathy the cat tried blowing pepper up Bob's nose to make Jeremy come out with a sneeze. Ah, ah, achoo! But that didn't work. It just made Bob fall over. Next, Roger the rabbit tried bouncing on Bob's belly to make Jeremy pop out with a burp. Boing, boing, boing! But that didn't work. It just made Bob feel sick. Then, Oscar the Owl tried shaking Bob to make Jeremy fall out. Ooh, our blur. But that didn't work either. It just made Bob feel dizzy. Please, yelled Mark. Somebody help my dog. Suddenly, they heard a deafening roar. Jeremy, bellowed the big canary. Mommy, said Jeremy. You'd better believe it's mommy, she boomed. Bob felt a flutter in his tummy. And Jeremy the canary appeared. I'm sorry, he said in a small voice. I just didn't want to clean my room. Well, said mommy, if you don't want to clean your room, you can always clean Bob's room. And Jeremy never complained about cleaning his own room ever again. All right, the end. So I thought that was kind of a cute and silly story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, I miss you guys. And also, I think something that you need to take away from that, especially with everything going on right now, is... Make sure you give a nice big hug to your mommies and daddies for me. Tell them you love them and make sure you keep cleaning your rooms. And also, I want you to keep praying and keep telling Jesus you love him too. Because remember, he's always here for you no matter what. Even if you're scared, anything like that. But he's always here and he loves you and I love you and I'll see you guys as soon as I can. Bye!